Traders, today's video is all about alerts on TradingView. Now, this is an introduction to alerts on TradingView. So if you sit back and watch this video, you're going to learn the basics about how to create an alert on TradingView. So you can see that right here. This is the alert menu, including going through its settings, message, and notifications. We are also going to talk about the difference between price alerts versus indicator alerts. And lastly, we are briefly going to cover the alerts tab off to the right of your chart here, which will show you all of the alerts you've ever created and allow you to manage it in multiple different ways. Now, it is important for us to note here that we are not going to be doing anything advanced in this video. So if you are looking for an advanced video on price alerts, an advanced video on indicator and strategy alerts, or an advanced video about just managing your alerts in your alerts command center here, well, that's going to be in this video series and in our help center, but let's get started with the basics for everyone. So first of all, what you have to know about alerts is that we have this alert button at the top of the chart. Now, when you click this alert button, you are going to get an alert box that looks just like this. As you can see here, some of the fields in this alert box are are already pre-populated to make it easy for you. So you can see the symbol I'm looking at is currently BTCUSD. You can see that right here. You can see the condition is price, so it's a price alert. Then you can see it's crossing both up, both up and down. But if I click this drop down, there are a number of different customizations that I might want to explore. For example, maybe I only want to get an alert if Bitcoin crosses up above a price or only if it crosses down below a price, or perhaps if it moves up or down a specific percentage. Now, once you make your selection, you're going to want to continue following this workflow. So we've got our value here and then our price. To make things easy, I'm gonna type in 110,000, so Bitcoin 110,000. I'm also going to do crossing up, meaning that this is a price alert. When Bitcoin price, crosses up above the value of 110,000. I want to get an alert only once, although I could get it every time, meaning every time it happens, I get an alert. Let's do only once for now. The second it happens, let us know. We don't need to know any more times than that. Also, it's going to be an open-ended alert, meaning TradingView will track this alert as long as it takes until this happens. Then I can click message and I can even add some custom details about this message. Right now, BTCUSD crossing up 110,000. This is pre-filled in for me. I can even give it a custom name by typing BTC 110,000, just like that. Now, if I click through notifications, you'll see all of the areas where I can actually get notified from being notified in the app to getting a toast notification right here on tradingview.com, an email, a webhook, even customizing the sound of my choice which is quite fun if you get really good at it and want to hear specific noises whenever an alert goes off, you have the choices. You could keep it simple with a thin little beep, perhaps something chirpy. You could even have a little bit more sort of noises of sorts with trumpets, for example, and even a dog. The choice, of course, is ultimately yours, but you have these options. Now, when you're ready, you click create, and just like that, you'll see an alert right here on the chart. Check it out. You can't miss this alert. It's going across the chart with this dotted blue line. In addition, I can even hover my mouse over it to see the title in this little trash can. So I've just created my first price alert. Now, in this video, I do want to briefly cover an indicator and a strategy alert, but let me also just remind you all that depending on the plan you have is the number of alerts you're going to get. Now, this is a price alert. So a price alert means if the symbol Bitcoin goes above or below a specific price, I get an alert. The great thing about TradingView in this regard is that they are counted separately than indicator alerts. Now, an indicator alert, for example, if I do simple moving average here, is going to be an example where price, say, goes below this indicator. So this line here that I'm going to make a little more visible and easy for you to see, just like this, this is a moving average. Well, if, if this price of Bitcoin were to suddenly drop through this indicator, 
I could tell TradingView to alert me. So I click add an alert. Now you can see it's pre-populated and the fields are a bit different. Condition, SMA, simple moving average, simple moving average. I can even access some of the features that come with this simple moving average, like the upper Bollinger Band. But the point here is that now this is an indicator alert. So with your TradingView plan, you are going to get a different number of alerts for each of their counted separately. Now, as you can see here, that alert just went off. That's because I had it, you know, let me know if Bitcoin's above or below that simple moving average. Well, clearly it's above the simple moving average. So the alert did fire off. But remember, that's in a different alert than this blue line, which is the first price alert that I created for all of you on this video. So let's just talk about it. If you have an essential plan, you get 20 price, price alerts and 20 technical alerts. That's 40 total alerts. If you have a plus plan, you get 100 price alerts and 100 technical alerts. That's 200 total alerts. If you have a premium plan, you get 400 price alerts and 400 technical alerts. That's 800 alerts. So as you can see here, you're going to get a number of alerts, and the best part is that they are counted differently. Now, if you go over here to your alerts command center, you can see all of the alerts we've ever created even a log. What's cool about the log is every time an alert goes off, you're going to see it right here in the law in the log. And the log is just a place for you to view quick information about all the alerts that you've created. Whereas the actual alerts tab is all of your alerts. And then of course, giving you the ability to restart them all, pause them all, delete them all, filter them, customize the list, all sorts of good features like that. Now, as mentioned in a later video, we're going to go through this in great detail, but this video is really the first part in a series just to make sure you know where to go when creating and managing alerts. Now, what's really important as well about this video and the next logical step is not only to show you the alert button, just like that, but something you may have picked up on, which is the ability, I'm going to delete this, which is the ability to right click anywhere on your chart. Now, this is a really nice way to effectively find a price point on the chart. Maybe you think you missed the Bitcoin move. You'd like it to come down a bit. Maybe you want to test these lows. Well, I can move my mouse down here to the chart. Here it is, right? See that? And then what I can do is right click on the chart and just click add alert at that price level. So you can utilize the chart itself and your mouse to find the perfect price, then click add alert, and just like that, you can create an alert. Now, I've walked you through this alert message box already, and it is important though, just to remind you of a few key features now that we have spoken about the total number of price alerts you get and total number of technical alerts. So for example, this expiration open-ended alert, you can see here, you can toggle this on or off. This is a specific feature for paid accounts. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure that you understand what account you have and if you have the ability to do an open-ended alert. As mentioned, an open-ended alert means the alert is always active. But if you have a time frame in mind, a cutoff date in mind, well, you can set that cutoff date, click set, and you can see here, if the alert does not trigger by June 30th, it's just gonna get deleted, it's over. In addition, as you get started with this creating alert feature, there's the ability to add placeholders, which are nice and quick ways to add in specific details about the alert that will be automatically populated. So if I click ticker, this is going to fill in Bitcoin. But if I had created this alert on another chart, and I had multiple of the same alerts going, you can imagine now it says Apple, then it says Amazon, then it says your USD. You've got these great quick placeholders. And you can see here you have general capabilities, ticker, exchange, interval, time, time now, symbol data, open, close, high, low volume, quote, and base. So if you wanted to add in the open, if you wanted to add in the close, maybe you want to add in open, high, low, close, and volume, so you're not near your computer, you don't know what happened, but the alert fires off. Well, now you're going to get all of the data here filled in. So you don't see the data here right now because the alert hasn't fired off, but when it does fire off and it's sent to you, you're gonna get these items here populated just for your needs. Now, if we click through here again, 
We've got notifications, which we've walked you through. But it is important for you to remember that if you want specific alerts to show up in specific places, that you have these specific boxes checked for your specific needs. Now, keep in mind, when you click a webhook URL, this is how you can send it to an app, to a chat, to a website, you know, all of those different places around the web. You can see here it comes in with an HTTP tps example.com slash alert hook you can create your own process just by bringing in a specific url to handle the alert so make sure you also check these boxes as you need so that the alert is operating for your intended use cases so i'm gonna go ahead and just click create again but let's do crossing let's see here i have 101,000. it's currently 109,000. So we're going to want to do crossing down. So if it ever crosses below this level, alert us. And let's uncheck this because I've not put a URL in there. And give it a second. And there it is. The alert has been created. And you can even see the pre-populated fields here as well. So this is the introduction to alerts. And at this point in time, you are gaining a great understanding. But it gets even better because did you know you can also create alerts on drawing tools? Now, this isn't going to work for every single drawing tool, but there are a number of drawing tools here where you can create alerts on them. Now, naturally, you can't just create an alert on a brush tool because it's pretty freehand, it's random, it's very detailed. How could you ever create an alert on something that free moving? But a trend line, of course, for example, has specific starting points and ending points and follows a specific uh, grid, you could say. And so if you draw on the chart and then right click, you can add alerts on these trend lines. So now, as you can see here, we are really taking you into the fine details of alerts on TradingView. And these are the powerful features that come with alerts as you get started. And it's also why you're going to want to tune into all of our videos on alerts to learn these features and make sure you understand our Help Center documentation. So I'm just going to go through that one more time so you can see it. Find the drawing tool of your choice. Generally, it's going to be a drawing tool like a trend line or a horizontal line, a vertical line, because these are lines with specific data points on the chart. So I'm going to do a horizontal line. And you see this high here? See this high here? I'm going to go ahead and click. And now I've got this horizontal line at the very high. Well, you know what? This is a dotted line. So let me make sure that this line is a little bit easier to see, a little bit thicker. I'm going to do a, let's do a green line. And what I want to know is I want to know when Bitcoin gets to this specific level. Now, if it gets to this level and touches that trend line, I need to know. I'm a drawer. I like to draw on charts. I like to add trend lines to charts, horizontal lines. This is a very important feature for me. So what I would do naturally, as you've seen, is now that I've drawn my line, I would right click on this line and then click add alert on horizontal line. And just like that, the message box opens up and I can follow these specific instructions, just as you have learned all throughout this video. And this is where alerts just gets better and better and why you're going to want to tune into this entire alert video series, which is that now you can see not only can you create these price alerts and technical alerts, your strategy alerts, but you also have the ability to do drawing alerts as well and then follow this same walkthrough so that the alert triggers when it hits that specific drawing tool. Now you can always ensure that you have your drawing tool selected just by checking a few details in this settings box. So as you can see here where it says settings, you've got a horizontal line. Well, that's the horizontal line we just drew. So now we know that this is essentially a horizontal line just for us. Now also, if you click message as well, this is pretty wonderful. You can, for example, also see that crossing horizontal line has been filled in. This means that we also know we've selected our horizontal line. So I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure my notifications are checked accordingly, and then click create. And just like that, as you can see, the alert icon is here. One of the great things about drawing alerts is that you can even add text to the drawing. You've probably watched our video all about these drawing tools. Well, you guessed it, you can now combine everything you've learned about our drawing tools and their capabilities with adding these specific alerts. So alert at highs 
and then we can change the color of the text here as well. And just like that, we can also move this to the right, alert it highs. And just like that, we have got all of this laid out for us. So look at this wonderful trend line going across the chart where it says alert at highs. We drew that and we know the alert is triggered because look at this alert icon here. Now, even if we go to our alert center here, we're going to be able to see this alert as well. Let's actually do, let's sort this by date created, newest, and here it is, horizontal line. So just like that, we have created a, a, an alert with a drawing tool. And that is the power of alerts. And this video has now given you the full background that you need to understand alerts at the most core level, as well as a few advanced topics that I briefly brushed up on on this video. But the best part is that if you were able to learn all of this just now in this detailed video, in this educational course, well, guess what? You can now take this to our next video where we go deeper into alerts and show actual examples and of course our help center as well. So thanks for watching this video. You now have a overview of alerts. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment field below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. We have over 400 videos for all of the traders and investors out there who want to learn how TradingView works. Thanks for watching.